Hello again, YouTube, and I'm back with a, uh, a little video here of a project that I just completed. And this is a, a uh, ultra capacitor boost, uh, portable booster box um, that I uh, just built. And essentially, I've got a, this is an enclosure that I bought from, uh, actually, I got it from Lowe's. And this right here is a, you know, a little handle that I put on it that I got from Lowe's. Uh, you know, two studs, positive and negative, and an old uh, battery selector switch that I had in my uh, spare parts. And on the inside, uh, this is just some foam padding that I put some insulation tape around just to kind of keep it in there. Uh, you can see here too. I've got two uh, bars that I that I put on it. And uh, let's see, I got some additional padding. And this is two gauge wire. These capacitors are charged, so I gotta be careful. And uh, you can see how they're terminated on the switch there. Um, and you can see how they're you know, connected up to the, uh, the studs. And what these are, these are ultra capacitors that I got from, uh, from uh, China, uh, from through AliExpress. Uh, essentially, they're clones of the Maxwell ultra capacitors. Each, each one of these ultra capacitors is uh, 1,000 farads each, and I have 12 of them. Uh, so I have one uh, each, in, and so essentially I have uh, 12, two point, and they're 2.7 volts, just like the uh, Maxwell's. So they're 2.7 volts, and at, <coughs> excuse me, at uh, 1,000 farads each. So uh, all of them together, again, it will be, you know, 2.7 times 12, it'll give you 32.4. And as far as the farads, um, it'll give you, I think, like 88 farads or something like that, something close to it. The, uh, the strapping bars that you see there, I actually went to, I discovered that the strapping bars that I, uh, that I purchased for my other capacitors, they look suspiciously like the just flat plate aluminum that you can buy from Home Depot. Uh, same size, same weight. The only difference is, you know, somebody actually uh, professionally made those strapping bars. So what I did was I actually went to Home Depot, or Lowe's, excuse me, and actually I bought some aluminum plates and I cut them up and drilled holes. And so I made my own. Uh, you know, these, those, these, these little strapping bars are aluminum. And these, bus, these are termination bars here are actually steel. Uh, because you can't put steel steel and copper, you know don't go together. So these are steel those are aluminum And so as you can see right there, they're all uh, together in series and there are some bars underneath as well And I put some electrical or actually some gorilla tape around them to kind of so they can hold the shape and stay in place and stuff like that very simple design uh, very simple design and uh, you know, with this right here, this is a portable box, so basically a portable capacitor bank. And this, you know, this is a lot of power, a lot of power. So um, I'm going to demonstrate today, uh, you know, some a practical use for this thing. Now, again, this thing right here, I've just is just some you can see some foam padding, and this is just again to go on top to hold it in. And that way I don't have to kind of mount it, you know, so it can stay, stay put. You know, I just got some foam, same, I had some extra foam padding, uh, you know, uh, that, you know, from my, uh, pre, my Nikolai battery shipment. And so I decided to use it, you know, hey, scrounge around, use what you can, um, and, you know, uh, and make your projects out of it as opposed to throwing it away. Now, this particular switch here is great because, you know, with these things poking out like that, if somebody touched them with that much power, yeah, um, it, it, that could be a very, very bad day. Uh, but this switch right here, I turn it off, and I could, if I turn it to one, that's when it energizes, you know, the circuit and energizes the box. So this is my on and off switch right there, and it works great. Um, so this right here essentially just goes in on top. You know, I just kind of squeeze it in there and put the lid on top, and we'll be good to go. All right. All right, I'm gonna pause the video and uh, we'll uh, proceed with the demonstration. Okay, YouTube, well, what we have here, <coughs> we have the uh, portable boost pack. We have it hooked up, it's still turned off. Uh, you can see there at the bottom, still turned off. And um, I have it hooked up positive to positive, negative to negative. Uh, right now the starting voltage on my inverter is 12.9. And if you look on the back of the inverter, 
you'll see that you know the end of the jumper cables are again positive positive negative to negative and they're connected directly to the inverter okay now let's move around okay so here we see a Vitamix machine and with this Vitamix machine uh, I'm going to do some juicing okay right now the uh, boost pack is not turned on let's see what the system does so when I turn it on I turn it up I'm not gonna leave it on too long because it takes it takes a lot of power it was struggling and you know it, it drained it down to like 12.7 which is no no big deal but it, you but the thing is I don't know if you heard that but it was it was definitely struggling it was definitely struggling uh, to come up to speed now I'm gonna go back and now I'm gonna turn on the boost pack okay turn on the boost pack now let's see what it does Let's turn it down and then I'm going to walk it up. Much better. Now I'm going to turn it on high. Now let's check the whole thing. Okay, YouTube, and that's my demonstration of the boost pack. All right, take care. Um, one final comment there, YouTube. Um, I wanted to just uh, emphasize the fact that this particular unit here um, is designed to give a power boost in terms of amps and uh, you know amp draw and, and stuff like that. It's a power boost. Um, the battery, the energy stored in the battery is what it is. And so, and the thing is, if the wattage requirement of that particular blender is 1500 watts, which it is, I believe, and you know, it's going to take, and if you run it for X number of minutes, it's going to take that amount of energy from your battery bank. So this is not an energy, uh, boosting device, a power boosting, meaning, Meaning it's designed to kind of help, you know, give that, that, that blender, the, the amps, the surge power it needs uh, to get up to speed. And so, again, you know, once that surge power, you know, that surge power still has to come from somewhere. And so that, that power is going to come from the battery bank. So the, the power comes from the battery to the uh, capacitors and then to the inverter. So again, this is, you know, that's, I just want you to know that, you know, don't get the wrong idea and that say, well, hey, this is just an extra battery. A capacitor is not a battery. It's an energy storage device, but it is definitely not a battery. Okay. It is definitely not a battery. This is not an additional battery to the battery that you have. No, the power still has to come from the primary power source, which is the battery itself the capacitors will give the um, the extra energy uh, I'm sorry the extra power density that it, that the uh, that a an appliance needs for starting like a, a refrigerator motor a, a washer motor a blender motor you know things of that nature okay uh, and in which case the lead acid battery sometimes they can't handle the surge uh, depending on the number of, of surges that you're going to you know uh, put in use like for instance if you were using the blender and the washing machine at the same time, you know, both of them require surge amps. And so this right here will, you know, give me that flexibility, uh, you know, for giving those appliances the surge amps that they need. Okay, take care, YouTube.